Hi, I'm Paul Simon, landscape horticulturist and landscape architect with the National Gardening Association. And today, we're talking about how to conserve water in your garden. One of the first things we'll discuss is proper irrigation and alternative water sources. Here, we'll discuss reviewing your existing irrigation systems, reviewing your irrigation controller, reviewing some of the irrigation heads in your yard, and we'll also look at alternative water sources such as stormwater recycling, rainwater harvesting. Next, we'll talk about reducing lawn maintenance to conserve water use. Here, we'll talk about overwatering. We'll also discuss some simple techniques that you can do, like identifying your soil types that'll help you understand rates of different water absorbency. We'll talk about watering early in the morning and watering when it's not too windy out. Finally, we'll discuss some other techniques you can do to retain moisture and conserve water in your garden. Some of the tools you might need to conserve water in your garden are a trigger nozzle for your hose, some drip irrigation, an irrigation rain gauge, adjustable irrigation spray and rotary heads, a rain barrel. You also may want to adjust your mower height so you can retain more moisture in your yard. And we'll discuss drought tolerant varieties that you can purchase for your garden. Before we begin, let me introduce myself. I'm a landscape horticulturist with the National Gardening Association. I've got 20 years of experience in landscape horticulture, landscape architecture, and design. We are founded in 1973. We're a nonprofit leader in plant based education with a mission to promote home, school, and community gardening as a means to renew and sustain the essential connections between people, plants, and the environments. Did you know that there's just as much water in the world today as there was millions of years ago? Actually, it's the same water. It's just been recycled through the hydrologic cycle. So what's the big deal about water conservation when we have just as much water as we had in the past? Well, good clean water is a very precious commodity. And in some regions of the world, it's a very scarce commodity. In this series, we'll discuss some of the steps that you can take to conserve water at home and the benefits of conserving water. So let's get started.